Fireworks are set off over the Jung-il Peak by the side of Kim Jong-il's native house in the secret camp of Mount bak -du, to burst out the boundless glory and joy of the Korean people who have Kim Jong-il in the van of the Korean Revolution. Kim Jong-il, chairman of the National Defense Commission of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, has inherited and leased to victory the Juche Revolutionary Corps, started on Mount bak the sacred mountain of the Korean Revolution, and converted a socialist Korea into a great political ideological power. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea is demonstrating its might of a political ideological power to the whole world, as it is led by Kim Jong-il, who holds fast the idea of socialism and has achieved the single-hearted unity of the revolutionary ranks by dint of ideology. <laughs> Kim Jong-il's leadership for successful building of a great, prosperous and powerful nation political ideological power. President Kim Il-sung said, The will the people are calling our country a political power. It will shine forever as a political power and an ideological power as long as it is led by comrade Kim Jong-il. Kim Jong-il tided over all rigorous trials and adversities caused by a world cataclysm and upheavals at the end of the 20th century by dint of ideology and Sungan politics. With the collapse of the socialist camp in the Eastern Europe, the U.S. imperialists and their followers, who became more arrogant and tried frantic with their attempt to isolate and stifle the Democratic People's Republic of Korea through the record about nuclear inspection and all sorts of military provocations and economic blockade. The natural calamities for several consecutive years added to Korea's economic difficulty and food shortage. The sudden death of President Kim Il-sung was an immeasurable pain and trial for the Korean nation. At this critical juncture when socialism was hanging in the balance, Kim Jong-il made a resolute declaration that subdued all kinds of challenges of the enemy. Don't expect any change from me. I will carry forward and complete the cause of socialism without fear. Let all of us work hard with one mind and purpose as befit the fighters and followers of the great leader to make our country, our motherland, more prosperous. In his works, including Socialism is a Science, Kim Jong-il expressed his full determination to defend and complete the cause of socialism by giving precedence to the ideological rule. The banner of the Korean Revolution is associated with the conviction and will of Kim Jong-il along with the whole life of President Kim Il-sung. 
Kim Jong-il visited revolutionary battle sites and historic places associated with President Kim Il-sung's history of anti-Japanese armed struggle, noting that he advocates the theory of ideology and that ideology decides everything. He emphatically said that the future of the building of a great, prosperous, and powerful socialist nation is bright only when the revolutionary traditions are defended and developed down through generations. Through his novel idea, streams of visitors are flowing to the sacred places of revolution. To soundly inherit the traditions of the anti-Japanese revolution from generation to generation, come what may, this is the unshakable conviction and will and pledge of the Korean people. Kim Jong-il, upholding the banner of the Sungun politics, has made unremitting endeavors to train the Korean People's Army to be an army of sound ideology and strong conviction, saying that the might of ideology is more powerful than atomic bombs in the building of a great, prosperous and powerful nation. Kim Jong-il, supreme commander of the Korean People's Army, with a firm conviction and will that only when the People's Army is strong, socialism can be defended securely, visited the Korean People's Army units one after another when the situation of the country was in difficulty. saying that victory in a war depends not on the number of armed forces or arms, but on the idea and will of the service persons to cherish absolute admiration for their party and the leader and revolutionary leadership with livers. He paid deep attention to the work of political and ideological education in the People's Army. Kim Jong-il called at the Air Force unit where hero Kim jong jo had served. Scrutinizing the notebooks of Kim, he said that Kim could take the road of self-blast, thinking of the revolutionary leadership first rather than his own life at the moment of life or death, because he had usually cherished loyalty to the party and leader as his conviction. Kim Jong-il personally read Kiel's poem. There is the sun over our wings, and there is Pyongyang under our wings. If I were to fly into death, final airline, I'll prove myself Kim Jong-il's guardian in the sky, and find my immortality in his embrace. He ensured that the whole army was as prepared as Gil, as the ranks full of revolutionary conviction and the ranks of rifles and bombs.
The service persons holding high the weapons given by Kim Jong Il during his field inspections shouted, "Let's fight for the Supreme Commander Kim Jong Il at the risk of our lives. Shimon bullets and bombs. Let's defend him with our lives." True to their pledges, they gave full play to their metal worthy of invincible warriors, each being equal to a hundred forces. The Korean People's Army that has taken Kim Jong Il in pluck and guts will counter any challenges of imperialists with merciless blows. The ranks of a match of 400 Korean People's Army, strong in ideology, produced many heroes who defended the headquarters of revolution at the risk of their lives. A pursuer pilot could choose the way of escaping from the body of the pursuer when it was set fire, but he dedicated himself without hesitation to protect the revolutionary battle sites and the life and property of the people. Only the revolutionary soldiers, firmly armed with the ideas of the leader and boundlessly loyal to him in ordinary days, do not hesitate to dedicate their youth and life at a critical moment. Even at a moment when their bodies were engulfed in the flames and their lives were at stake, Heroic soldiers breathed their last after handing over the portraits of President Kim Il Sung and Kim Jong Il to their fellow comrades. Seventeen Korean People's Army soldiers sacrificed themselves to protect the trees on which revolutionary slogans were written in a revolutionary battle site. When the slogan-bearing trees were in danger by a sudden fire. They covered the writings with mud and held the trays in their arms, breathing their last. Thanks to endeavors of such the heroes, the everlasting wealth of the Korean Revolution shine bright forever, and the veins of the revolution are inherited invariably. Kim Jong Il emphasized that intensifying class education is the requirement of the reality when the maneuvers of imperialists and reactionaries to stifle career have become undisguised, and ensured that army men and people can see through the ferociousness and craftiness of the U.S. imperialist and class enemies, and keep burning hatred against them. Among revolutionary soldiers armed with Ken class and revolutionary consciousness, were a great number of men who are strong in ideas and conviction. There were indomitable fighters who fought against raging waves with untiring patience and will for over 50 days, when they were drifting at the mercy of the waves. Engine stopped, and the wireless apparatus was out of order. There was no hope of being rescued, and food and drinking water ran short. In this deadly situation, they greeted the morning of February the 16th, the birthday of Kim Jong Il. They send their greetings of best wishes to him, looking up to the sky of Pyongyang, and left the following writing: "Long live the great leader, General Kim Jong Il of the Korean People."
Unexpectedly, they arrived at the territorial waters of Japan. Despite the hundred words calling for exile, they kept their iron strong will to return home. They said, Mount Baekdu is the native place of all of us. Mount Baekdu, where Kim Jong il was born, is the special place of all Koreans. The secret of their survival on the ship in distress for 50 days was their iron conviction to return home, the embrace of Kim Jong il. Kim Jong Il said that there is no force in the world to subdue those strong in ideas and conviction. He also said that the spirit of safeguarding the headquarters of revolution with libraries, the spirit of implementing orders unconditionally, and the heroic spirit of sacrifice, highly displayed among Korean people's army men, is precisely the revolutionary spirit of soldiers which should be assimilated by entire party and the whole society. The revolutionary soldier spirit displayed startling the world at the hard trials was created among soldiers who built the ambient youth power station, conquering the brutal nature with bare hands and backs to carry out the order of Korean People's Army Supreme Commander Kim Jong-il. Kim Jong-il led the Korean people's army men and officers to vigorously undertake the gigantic project for the building of the power station, a project entrusted to the army by President Kim Il-sung in his lifetime. The soldier builders turned out as one with a firm resolve to prove themselves worthy of the great trust and warm benevolence of Kim Jong-il. They highly displayed a spirit of self-reliance in surmounting all hardships. They are filled with an iron will that carry out whatever Kim Jong-il determines. Dedicating much blood and sweat, they could greet the day of the completion of the power station. Looking at the structures the army men erected, Kim Jong Il highly appreciated their fighting spirit and traits as the revolutionary soldier spirit that the whole country should assimilate. Let us not to look up at the blue sky of the country before carrying out the order of Supreme Commander Kim Jong-il. This legend and revolutionary spirit of Korean people's army men stirred all the Korean people to action. Whenever trials and difficulties crop up,
Kim Jong-il takes the road of field guidance without letter, kindling the revolutionary ardor of the army and the people. Kim Jong-il led the workers and people of Chagang province to live and work in the revolutionary soldier spirit. He said that during the period of the arduous march, he gained the strength from the workers of Chagang province who never stopped running machines and never left their working places but asked for more assignments. Kim Jong-il arranged a field performance of the Korean People's Army Merited State Chorus to instill vigor and courage in the hearts of the workers of Chagang province who are playing a leading part in the forced march for ultimate victory. The workers and people of Jagang province kept a firm resolve of loyalty to tide over grim trials and obstacles by dint of ideology under the guidance of Kim Jong-il. The Kange spirit, born of a complete harmonious whole, produced royal defenders of the headquarters of revolution and creators of miracles, and made the ardent loyalty to the leader and the revolutionary spirit of self-reliance and optimism run through the whole society. Retrospecting those days, Kim Jong-il said with emotions, The greatest source of strength for our party in the days of the arduous march was Kangye spirit, the heroic struggle of the workers and people of Chagang province who made themselves felt more in the hard times than in ordinary days. Prevailing over the land of Chagang province, with a spirit of absoluteness and unconditionality in carrying out the tasks given by Kim Jong-il in any adversity, the spirit of fortitude and the spirit of self-sacrifice for the country and people. Kim Jong-il also highly appreciated the love of the population of Chagang province for their home villages and their devotion to build their residential area as the paradise and sought it that the whole country actively emulate them. With a conviction that when they yield to passing difficulties, they die and when they are committed to the action to keep trust and pledge, they would emerge victorious. The workers of Chagang province built up monumental edifices. True to Kim Jong-il's idea that people should live today for tomorrow, and his motto that there is pleasure after trouble and victory after trials, the Chagang residents worked out a prosperous reality in all parts. The Korean people overcame and brought about a great change in land management, 
by overcoming all hardships by dint of ideology and with iron conviction that to those who disregard death nothing is impossible and there is hope even if the sky falls apart. The Chagang residents suffered more trouble than others but rose up stoutly knowing no pessimism and they brought about a brilliant reality of today. Kim Jong-il said that when he is here he feels very much pleased. The provincial people were moved to tears. Looking at the people running to follow his car shedding tears, Kim Jong-il said that the sin can be seen only in Korea where the party and people are united in one mind and that is the symbol of the single-hearted unity. From the hearts of the people who hold their leader in high esteem is ringing out this hymn. The whole country entrusts its destiny, whole world entrusts its future. Trust him like heaven, they live with trust in him. Kim Jong-il adopts the method of creating an example in one place before generalizing it throughout the country. He developed the Kangye spirit into the torch of Sungang and the torch of Ranam, which flared up throughout the country. The Korean people are filled with a resolve to build a great, prosperous, and powerful nation in hard response to the intention of Kim Jong il. As if to demonstrate the metal of leaping career, factories are in full operation and the projects for land realignment and improvement are pushed ahead in full swing. In the building of a great prosperous and powerful nation, Many heroes of the times have been produced. They are true loyalists and patriots who highly display the spirit of safeguarding the headquarters of revolution with libraries and the spirit of carrying out the tasks without fail. They are the pace setters who devoted themselves for the party and the leader and the country and people with their practical qualification and actual results in the struggle for the prosperity of Korea. Their examples greatly encourage the struggle of the workers and people throughout the country. Kim Jong-il surmounted all hardships full of optimism and confidence in sure victory. Officer survivors are filled with confidence and optimism. 
Let's go in higher spirits even if we are on a thorny path, and we'll win if we fight full of revolutionary optimism. Kim Jong-il said that the art performance of officers' wives full of militant stamina has a great power to influence in educating people in revolutionary optimism and highly appreciated a performance. Life without music is like a flower bed without flowers. Those who are fighting with smile without yielding to difficulty will surely win. The Korean Revolution is a revolution which advances with songs and wins with songs. This revolutionary optimism of Kim Jong-il roused the enthusiasm of all the people of the country. Let's see who will smile at the last moment. Korea will surely win. With this conviction, the Korean people could advance dynamically along the road of victory, conquering any stern trials. The army and people of Korea advanced with a firm conviction that great happiness will come after overcoming much difficulty, holding aloft a red banner of victory and glory under the guidance of Kim Jong-il. The Korean people are hastening the day of completion in building a great prosperous and powerful nation, forging ahead in high spirits through all adversities. Kim Jong-il gives high prominence the young people faithful to the party, country and people, placing them in the van of the struggle for building a great prosperous and powerful nation. Not only young people but all other people turned out as one in the striving for building a great prosperous and powerful nation. The lofty ideological and spiritual world of the Korean people who are always eager to see Kim Jong-il are geared to creating miracles and innovations even in adversities.
Kim Jong-il always says, Our people are fine and we are blessed with fine people. As there is the people in the heart of Kim Jong-il and there is Kim Jong-il in the hearts of the people, the all people him echoes emotionally across the whole land. The great course of the 50,000 young shock brigaders at the construction site of the Youth Hero Motorway was the manifestation of the ardent admiration of the Korean young men for Kim Jong-il. The song, Where Are You, Dear General, that the Korean people sing with their hearts, echoes in all parts of the country as the paean of admiration for their leader. This end can be found only in Korea, where the people live believing Kim Jong-il only. A coal miner had to stay for over 12 hours in a pit of one cubic meter because of a sudden fall, but he was never disappointed. At the moment he collapsed due to the shortage of oxygen, he engraved the writing suggestive of his warm feelings of reverence for Kim Jong-il. Heroine Chung Sung Oh, Queen of Marathon, a laudable daughter of Korea, said, I ran visualizing the great leader of the Korean people, comrade Kim Jong Il. This inspired me greatly and was the source of my strength today. Kim Jong Il made Jung crowned with the greatest happiness and glory. Chung Sung Oh became a victor by running with an indomitable will smashing the sophism of the enemy who prattled that the Korean people were in a state of collapse during the period of arduous march. <music> Former unconverted long-term prisoners, patriotic fighters for reunification, returned home thanks to the revolutionary obligation and lofty comradeship of Kim Jong-il. What is the lifelong will that was kept in their hearts? It is the confidence that their cause is invincible because they have Kim Jong-il as their leader. Spring will surely come, reject conversion. Eminent successor to President Kim Il-sung has appeared on the stage of history. He is Kim Jong-il. Long live, long live, long live. Comrades, let's muster our courage. Victory is ours. In prison, they conducted their struggle to reject conversion and after return home, they made reports of loyalty before the portrait of Kim Jong-il. They are the revolutionaries of this kind. That's why President Kim Il-sung never forgot them and Kim Jong-il brought their repatriation to success. The launching of the first artificial Earth satellite, Kwang Myung Sung No. 1, shook the whole country and brought the world to admiration. A series of proud successes gained in all parts of the country were the great crystallization, grand monuments of creation born by the might of theory on ideology put forward by Kim Jong Il.
The larger scale Kuang Myungsan Sultan, built in the east coast of Korea for the first time, small patches of field turned into the vast standardized fields, modern factories built in all places. This illustrate a brilliant victory created by the indomitable fighting spirit of the Korean people who are upholding the idea of Kim Jong-il on building a great prosperous and powerful nation. Kim Jong-il created a new history of prosperity with his far-reaching plan, superb leadership and great affection and was very much satisfied with all the success achieved by the army and people. The Korean people, fascinated by his lofty traits, convey their infinite gratitude and greatest glory to him. carry into effect the plan of Kim Jong-il who believes the people like God and Mentor, the plan to build a great prosperous and powerful nation, the Korean people are devoting all the wisdom and talent. Kim Jong-il administers the benevolent politics, saying that the Workers' Party of Korea is the party serving the people. Deeply moved by his comradeship, veteran anti-Japanese fighters and war veterans and people of various trader are writing letters of gratitude, letters of loyalty to him. The Korean people call Kim Jong-il a father general, making all sincerity for him. Kim Jong-il has boundless feelings of affection for the people who respect their leader infinitely and bestows great favors on them, saying that there are no other people better than our people in the world. All the people, irrespective of age and occupation, write letters full of their feelings to their leader, and the leader reads them and sends them his autographs, which can be seen only in Korea, where Kim Jong-il and the people are linked in close ties. Conscious of the fact that in carrying out what is wanted by the leader lies their happiness and glory, the Korean young people enlist in the army. The Korean young people are working faithfully in the military posts and workplaces with a determination to uphold Kim Jong-il loyally.
The Korean people regard it as the greatest glory to devote themselves for the country and people with conscience and sense of duty to their party and leader. In Korea, the young people are married to disabled soldiers amid the blessing of the party and people. This beautiful trait blossomed more brilliantly in the days of arduous march, forced march, and in the course of building a great prosperous and powerful nation. The army and people of Korea, where the whole country constitutes a great harmonious whole, a highly displaying worm comradeship everywhere. Faithful to the golden saying, flowers should continue to blossom, the Korean people take good care of disabled soldiers with the feelings of kinship. They are making unsparing endeavors to learn from the lofty comradeship of the anti-Japanese heroine Kim Jong-su. There are many anecdotes reflective of comradely love and loyalty in the country. It is Kim jong Il's concept that there should have been no unhappy children in the country. With a mind to relieve his worry about the orphans, Korean people's army officers and then their families and people of all walks of life have become their parents in the days of the arduous march. Such ideas prevailing over the country are a reality borne by the Workers' Party of Korea's benevolent politics. Kim Jong-il put up the Eun bok family as the model revolutionary serfs person's family in the year of sun -gun. The Eun bok couple regarded military service as the expression of loyalty and patriotism and placed all their children in the posts where they had served. Kim Jong-il, gifted with lofty benevolence, looks after all the families of country with great care. His kind and meticulous care prompted the wife of a demobilized soldier of Taehongdan County to ask him to name her expectant baby. Kim Jong-il regards the growing joy and happiness of people as more precious than any other matter of great national importance. Kim Jong-il met a family of a road caretaker on his way to field guidance and called them patriots and they listened to their humble words, songs and poems and posed for a souvenir picture with them.
Even foreigners express their excitement about a reality of Korea full of feelings of close ties between the leader and people. Kim Jong-il regards the love for the people as the ideal of politics and as much a to the value of human being. His politics of love and his politics of trust make the Korean people traverse along the road of victory stoutly despite all trials and difficulties. Socialism in Korea that is vigorously advancing by dint of ideology under the guidance of Kim Jong-il will surely emerge victorious. The benevolent politics of Kim Jong-il, of which the world speaks highly, was the source of the single-hearted unity, the integral whole of the leader, party, and the masses. What is the conviction which has become firmer in the hearts of the Korean people advancing along the road of building a great, prosperous, and powerful nation following their arduous march and forced march? It is the unshakable conviction that Kim Jong-il is the destiny and future of Korea and under his guidance they can surmount any stone trials and difficulties heroically and surely win. Kim Jong-il administers the great politics which are geared to holding fast to the line of attaching importance to ideology, giving priority to arms, and upholds the banner of prosperity. Indeed, the politics of Kim Jong-il are the great politics which have made it possible to defend the banner of socialism and steer the building of a great prosperous and powerful nation to victory by means of single-hearted unity and the might of comradeship. The Korean people who are imbued with the idea of the leader and united still strong around him will remember forever the days of Kim Jong-il's devoted services. The immortal exploits of Kim Jong-il who has led the country to display its might as a political power and an ideological power and defended and brightened socialism in the face of the challenges and offensives of imperialist allied forces will shine resplendently in Korea's history of building a great prosperous and powerful nation.